Hello, first grade, and welcome back to art. I'm so happy that you're here. I have a fun project that you can try this week at home, and it's very simple, and I think that the results look fantastic. So what you'll need will be some construction paper, and I happen to have orange, and I have a roll of tape because I'm gonna use it to trace. So if you don't have tape, you can find a cup or a bowl that is a nice rounded shape. I'm gonna use a marker for tracing. I'm going to use some scissors and I'm going to use a glue stick. So let me move you down so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my paper and I happen to have two, uh, three pieces of orange construction paper, but you can do this with any color, but I'm gonna be making a three dimensional pumpkin because we are now into fall and pumpkins are all over the place because it is that time of year. So I'm gonna lay my circle down and I'm just going to trace my circle a couple times and I'm gonna try to fit as many circles as I can onto this piece of two is all I'm gonna get. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now, now that I traced my circle, Cut them out. Okay, so there's three circles there. Here comes another three. Okay, so now that I have my six circles here, I'm gonna put them together and I'm going to fold them in half, just like that, all right? And I'm gonna take them apart. Let me move you down so you can see. So I have, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six okay okay so now that i have my six circles i'm going to take my glue stick and what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply let me get these circles out of the way a little bit of glue to one half just like that and i'm going to connect this circle keep it folded back to back, and now I'm gonna put my next circle on. Make sure you put plenty of glue. So you're just stacking them on top of each other, keep them folded. Just like this, and this goes so quickly once you get the circles cut out. Watch this, within a second, you're gonna have an awesome looking project here. All right, here's my sixth one. So you need six circles. And now, I'm gonna open it up. Actually, let me put a little glue on the last, on the top here. Because I'm gonna bring this side over to that side. A little bit of glue. And when you fan this out, do you see the shape of the pumpkin form? But right now, this guy is a little hard to keep on the table. See how he flip flops down? So before you open it up, I was just excited to show you. I'm gonna cut the bottom a little bit, just like this. Do you see how I cut the bottom so it's flat? Okay. So now when I open this up again and make a circle, you'll see it all kind of pop out here. See that? And now, because I cut the bottom, it sits really, oops, really nicely on the top of the table. And I think what I'll do is I'll take some of this beautiful green 
like a lime green. Look at it glow. And I'm gonna cut a very skinny strip like that. And here's a little trick. If you take, I think I'll take a pen, and you roll construction paper around a pencil or a pen, you can get it to curl. So pumpkin vines are nice and curly. So if you hold that on there for a second and then let it go, check that out. You have a nice little springy curl. And I think I'll take my glue stick and just put a little glue on the front and the back and I'm gonna tuck him inside that little hole there where all of the pumpkin pieces are glued together. And do you see the stem coming out of the pumpkin? Now, I happen to use orange, but if I wanted, I can maybe take, how about some red? So if I was to take maybe three pieces of red and put them together, and here's another trick, I can save time by just folding my piece of paper in half See? So now I have six pieces that are ready to go. And this time, I think... Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna trace the smaller circle in my tape. And when I cut this out, I'm gonna have... six smaller circles, because I think I'm gonna make some apples to go with my pumpkin. So there, there are six circles right here. And remember, fold them in half, then separate them. Okay, and start gluing them back to back. So here's one, to take your time, right? Go nice and slow. Make sure everything's lined up nice and neat. together. Fan it out. Now remember, it's not going to stand, so you want to just fold it back up, trim your bottom. See, so it's nice and flat. And look at that, now I have a little apple that I can put on my table. And this time I think I'll use the dark green for a pretty little leaf here. An apple leaf. Something like that, right? So I, and I think what I'll do is I'll roll this around my pen just to give a little curve to the leaf. So take a little glue, and tuck him in. I think it's a big leaf for an apple, but that's good. I like it. You see? So there, I was able to make now a three-dimensional pumpkin and a three-dimensional apple just by using six circles, some glue, and a little imagination. So give it a try, boys and girls. I'd love to see you make some pumpkins and some apples for the fall. And when you finish your apple and your pumpkin, you can make a bunch of them. You can fill a whole bowl with them. How pretty would that be sitting on your table in your house? You can take a picture of it and you can send it to me through Seesaw. So boys and girls, I hope you had fun creating and exploring with construction paper today. And I will see you next week. Have a great day, boys and girls.